forgive me for my voice sounding a little ugh today. Uh, I got some kind of congestion issue or something. But uh, I wanted to talk about friendships and relationships of all kinds. How important affirmations are. Affirming things. Um, being affirmative with, with emotions and plans and feelings and things like that. I think a lot of friendships and connections, they, they get a little lost between two, two people because one person will be reaching more for the other and the other person sometimes is, uh, is probably a little less than that. What's really important is recognizing whenever it's a two-way two -way mirror, you know, people are reciprocating energy. If it's not being reciprocated, then that's a sign that either you, either you put up a red flag and they're, they're, they're not wanting to be, um, they're not wanting to push a connection or friendship with you. Or it could be the opposite, and maybe they do, but they're not open with themselves and they don't know how to, I don't know, make plans, um, talk about emotions, feelings, st stuff like that. Friendships and relationships, they're strange, man, because even I know between different people, different people activate different, different things that come from me, right? Different energies. Some people will make me want to steer clear of, and then some people will get me, will get a lot more energy out of me, right? Um, if certain people burn me, um, you know, that's when I, of course, will take a step back and I'm not mean or hostile about it, but I am, um, less adamant to keep that friendship or connection, whatever that is going. I'm one of those people. I'm, I'm, I'm getting too old for the passive things. I need affirmative things. I need direct communication. I need, yes, we're hanging out or no, we're not hanging out. Yes, you are X, Y, or Z. No, you know, I've noticed the more friendships and connections and relationships that I've built with people, the best ones come from people who are it's like a recognition in other people that are honest with themselves. If you find yourself reaching for someone and they're not sending, if they're not reaching back for you, that's a, that's a, that's a sign to take a step back because people that want to reciprocate the energy they do. Um, it's just that maybe not all people are destined to be friends or connected or not all people are, are destined to get what, what would what they want. I know even with, there's been certain friendships and relationships I've pursued that ultimately didn't work out. And we, we want, we watch the movies and we want these cliche. Yes, that's going to be my, that's going to be my friend. That's going to be my best friend. They're awesome. It doesn't work. Yes. I want to date that person, but that doesn't really work out the way I want it to. Again, it's all really about recognizing the signs of people that reciprocate energy. And look, I mean, just because people don't reciprocate energy, that doesn't mean they're bad people either. Um, that just means I know from someone like me, I don't reciprocate energy if there are some red flags there. If, um, if a friend or a potential person that I'd be interested in talking to, if I'm asking all the questions, I stop pursuing immediately. Um, if they don't ask me anything about my life, that means they are not interested in who I am. That means it's either they just want some short-term friendship or, or some, or they're physically attracted to me, right? Because people that want to know you, man, they're going to ask you, what makes you tick? Who are you? How'd you get to be who you are? Now, people that um, want to be your friend or say they want to be your friend or they want to date you, if they don't ask you anything about you, they really don't. I got something else going on up here. That's a red flag. Stay away. Engaging with you, engage in, con in conversation with you. Um, that doesn't mean they respond to you immediately. Everyone has a job and some people have kids and responsibilities. But whenever, say, you ask them a question and they respond and then they ask a question of you, you know, whenever you know that is reciprocation, you know, that is what people are pursuing. If you're not getting that from someone, stop trying to force it. It is what it is, whether you like it or not. Y'all, we are, we are all as a society and as a culture and as a civilization, we're getting very smart. We need, to, we, need to, we need to understand socially the signs of who to pursue and the signs of who not to pursue. Now I'm going to take this another step further. If you find yourself 
doing a lot for other people. It is good to be selfless. It is good to, to do things for people. It's good to have a little bit of sacrifice. Those are healthy patterns, but it's also a balance. You have to understand how, when they're taking advantage of you, if they're not reciprocating that, right? Now, I'm not saying go feed a homeless man if he doesn't reciprocate something back. Don't do it. Don't fuck with him, right? I'm saying people that you connect with, whether it's friendships, family, relationships, ultimately, if you know, you know your own energy and how much you can put out. If you're putting out a lot for other people and they're not reciprocating that back, it's time to take a step back. Let them miss you. Pursuing other people or if you're helping other people, whether it's mental advice, whether it's financial advice, whether it's just emotional, whatever that connection is between you and the other person, if you're putting it out and they're giving you nothing back, it's time to take that as a sign of it is what it is. Withdraw, okay? If you feel like you're a codependent person, well, A, message me. I've got plenty of ways to help you um, learn how to pull that Pull that back. I used to be a very, very codependent person, and now I'm an extremely independent person. You don't have to be that way forever. And it's actually very nice to understand and learn and set your own boundaries. It's very helpful.